Thank you. Parkland school shooter Nicholas Cruz is back in court today. At this time, he is being questioned by the judge and local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez was in the courtroom as well. He joins us live with what happened inside. Andrew. Well, Nicholas Cruz clearly did not want to be in court today. A judge had to talk to him to make sure he understood exactly what's on the line here. Confessed school shooter Nicholas Cruz walks into court. Attorneys argue he should leave the room, though, that he doesn't have to be there. A judge questions him to make sure. How old are you? 19, uh, 21. And how far did you get in school? Uh, 12th grade. You completed 12th grade? No. And do you understand that if uh, you don't agree with my ruling, and, and let's say you were convicted in this case, you can't go back and claim that your counsel was ineffective by allowing you to excuse your appearance at a later date. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So with all that, he's dismissed. Attorneys begin their legal arguments. This hearing is related to a November altercation when Cruz allegedly attacked a prison guard in Fort Lauderdale, attempted to take the sergeant's stun gun. He was charged with attempted aggravated battery on law enforcement. If the Supreme Court of Florida were to have felt that attempted aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer were all of a sudden now <coughs> an actual offense that, um, that the state of Florida could uh, charge Mr. Cruz with, then they would have said so. His attorneys arguing that's not a real charge, wanting it dismissed. A judge telling both parties she'll take time to look into it and make a formal decision in the coming days. Cruz, though, still has another hearing set for later today related to the shooting at Marjorie Stone and Douglas. It's possible he may waive his right to appear once again. So once again, Cruz, he's gonna, he's expected to appear in court at this point for that other uh, charges related to the shooting. Right now, we're told that the defense are still trying to get the death penalty off the table. That's the latest here in Fort Lauderdale, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.